worth adding a stop to the Perua Brewery Museum when you're in Lublin. Founded in 1844 in the abandoned ruins of a monastery, it began brewing in 1846. The original beer was a Bavarian lager style. The Beer Museum tour is a fascinating look at the way beer is made. You'll travel through the old brewery, which was still making beer into the early 2000s. Perwa, or Pearl Beer, is one of Lubelski's finest products, and certainly one of its most revered. Lubelski hops are famous throughout Europe, and they seem to give the beer a true taste of Lubelski province. Let the tour begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Poland Daily. We're in Lublin, the beautiful city of Lubelska in southeast Poland, and we're at the Perwa, brewery and we're going on a tour and we have this fantastic lady who's telling us all about the brewery and her name is Eva Bieletska. <laughs> Eva, what are we looking at here? This is a nice display case. Yes, um, here we're keeping a few historical items. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, mainly pictures of our former owners. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, pictures of Feta's family. We have uh, the Vetter family. Yes, yeah. Feta. Mm -hmm. Feta. No, no relation to Eddie Vetter. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Huh? They weren't. I don't yeah, think they so. weren't singers. <laughs> yes. But Pearl Jam. Perwa Jam. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's just a, a coincidence. Good, good, that's I don't a great know, conclusion. Folks. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Yes, probably. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, so we have uh, a picture of August and Julius Fetter, mm -hmm. and we have pictures of um, Tadeusz Karsza Siedlewski, another easy one for mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Kar Karsza Siedlewski. Tadeusz Karsza Siedlewski. Tadeusz yes. Karsza Siedlewski. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm he learning. Thank you, yes, Eva. Thank you for helping. He was yeah. the f um, uh, owner of our brewery in uh, 1920. Um, between yes, the, between, between the, the wars, wars yeah. yes, okay. and it was a very famous industrialist of Second Polish Republic, mm -hmm. and um, of course he was a very well educated man with a mm -hmm. great position. Um, in the late um, 1930s, he became a senator. So wow, uh, so he, he was an important. Very guy. great, yeah, he yeah. was. And, yeah. but, and a lot of influence here. But he was yeah. a good man. He was an innovative man. He was man. a very good man. Yes. Innovative man, a leader. Yes. Uh, okay. And we have a picture of this beautiful yeah, woman. Yeah, who is this beautiful uh, woman? Yes, that's an amazing story because um, her name was Olga Prorubnikov. She was from Lvov. Uh, oh, so, yes, okay. she was a dancer, prima uh -huh. ballerina in National Theatre in Warsaw. Uh -huh. And um, they met each other with the Dershes before, uh -huh. just a few years before the Second World War. Okay. And they engaged. They got engaged. They were yes, getting married. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Unfortunately, they didn't get never, married. never, never, yeah. because um, because of the war. Yes, oh. Tadeusz died in the uh, first uh, weeks of uh, of the second world war. Oh no, war. that's terrible. Story. Uh, she left alone. Uh, she, 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 she she never got married. No, uh, she get married after the war. Okay. Yes, and uh, she had uh, three sons. Mm -hmm. uh, she became a dance teacher, like a professor, mm -hmm. and she found famous um, ballet school in Poznań as well. Ah, so she okay. became a professor and founder of, of the I famous see. ballet school in Poland. So she went on, and poor Tadeusz did not go on. Yeah. Another great uh, Polish person, Polish man, uh, lost. Uh, because of the war, okay. Yes, exactly, yeah. unfortunately. But connected to this place. All yes, right. of course. Uh, what um, else have we got? Uh, what else we got? We have very interesting labels from... Yeah, I uh, saw those. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, most of them are from 1920s. Like, okay. uh, yes, like from before the Second World War. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most interesting, in my opinion, is mm -hmm. this uh, tiny, two tiny labels mm -hmm. here. You see, uh, Name of this beer was Perełka, mm -hmm. which in Polish means uh, that in Polish that means tiny pearl. So now right. we have pearl, and it used to be Perełka. Okay, so but no I one, think that's do you know part why? Of, um, in my opinion, it's just it's part of our tradition. Is that's why um, uh, we named our beer Perełka, uh, mm -hmm. Perła. Perła. Sorry, yes, Perła. So like Perełka. Perełka. Okay. Yes, yes, it's exactly. It just evolved. So it's just the a, name. yes, exactly. Yeah. So that is just a part of our history. Still, uh -huh. we also have some labels from uh, lemonades and liqueurs. Uh, 
Yeah, and um, that shows us that um, Karol Fetter was a great businessman. Mm -hmm. He was very ambitious. He did a lot of different kinds of things. Of course, We've said he was ambitious. Yes. We said it again. Yes. Yeah. Because he I'm starting to like this really guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't have his picture, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah. But I like him too. Yes. He yeah. was very interesting. Anyway. Sounds it, yeah. And he made these liquors and things, right? Yeah. Which we have in the yes, display. Yes, we have uh, uh, in over this, here. In this we'll get some pictures there. of this yeah, exactly. to show it. And exactly. here's uh, some old buildings. Of uh, the... Old buildings. Uh, those buildings were found by Feta's family, mainly by Feta's uh, brothers, uh, mm -hmm. August and Julius. Uh, that's a trade school. And uh, it's still the These are just buildings in the city. Yes, yeah. yes. So we have children's hospital. We has we have first great uh, hotel in Lublin. Yeah. So they did a lot of good things for our town. Wow, yeah. sounds great. Okay, uh, stay with us after the bumper. We'll be back with more from the Perwa Brewery. We're underground. We're under a church. We're in the middle of Lublin. It's amazing. And so is she. She's doing a good job, isn't she? This is an important place. We've come down, we're walking down the corridors here, and we've come to this particular place. And you placed these, what are these? Hops. Hops, that's right. Yes. The secret ingredient, isn't it? Secret ingredient, yes. Yeah. That's our treasure here in yeah. our region, because yeah. that's, um, um, our hops is one of the best in the world, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's they're very, famous. Yes, yeah. it's very famous. Yeah. It's, um, um, it's famous because of the taste. Yeah, yes, special. Yes, yeah. special taste, special bitterness, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, this hops gives to our beer. Mm -hmm. yes, that's why our beer tastes like that. It's extremely yes. bitter beer. Uh, no, it's that not. That may be extremely, but it's, it's a, very, really a very, very... It's got a very um, distinctive taste. Yes, distinctive. Yes, that's a good the, word. The hops are a bit... <laughs> A bit, slightly bitter, but there's a sweetness there too. Yes, it's a nice, yes. smooth tasting beer. So it's very quite balanced, yeah. this taste, yes. It stands out. If you taste other major Polish beers, mm -hmm. it's quite different, isn't it? Yes, it is. I've always found that myself. So that's our treasure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, the Lubelska hops are, as you say, known through, throughout the world. Yes. Um, how many different kind of beers are there made roughly? Do you know? Uh, how many kinds of beer? Yeah, yeah so like a, uh, at the moment, here, maybe in, in the six, place. seven? Six, yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, something okay. like that. Come on, I let's guess. go through here. Yeah, because sure. we got something very interesting here. What is this display about? Oh, um, <laughs> that's, this place shows us how this hops grow up. Right. So, because it, it's a really huge, massive plant, yes. Next to you. Um, it can be even. Um, 12, 11 meters high. Right, yes. and the hops are growing on these yes, stakes yes. in the ground, yes. right? Yes, yes, exactly. So if you go through, if you're driving through Lubelska in the you summer, can, yeah. you see it, right? Especially on, yeah. on, um, on August, you right. can see it because yeah. plants are really high on this, at this time. Uh, so, so you can see it in a, in a full, you know, um, full shape, bloom. Yeah, full, bloom, full bloom, yes, exactly. Like, you know, because we growth. need, yes, yeah. because we're using just yeah. the pines from this huge plant, yes. So uh, we have, we're using this um, pines, not in the natural shape, but as a granulate. Uh -huh. Because it's it takes less space in brewery. You mean the cones? Yes, yeah, the yes, cones. Yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah. But it's yeah. still uh, original, uh, regional <laughs> um, Lublin uh, hops. Yes, right. and that's the only one hops we're using here. Yeah, there's no nothing, nothing no, else. no substitute. No. Um, but you have another little brewery, don't you? Uh, in Zwierzyniec. Yes, which yes. is a small town. It? Yes, it is a yeah. tiny, tiny town in um, a region which we call in Rostocza here. It's a very beautiful place, uh, very touristy <laughs> at the moment. Because you're a guide there as well. Yes, yes. But it's a nice place in the countryside. It's very out. Yes, out exactly. The, out, out of the sticks, it's, out in the forest. If you yes, want to. it's a very yeah. quiet, with a very, it's a very specific place. Yeah, so People it's quite love it. From Lublin, exactly. You can go there. It's also a very uh, that beer is uh, quite distinctive as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. Thanks yeah. to our hops as well, and yeah. uh, thanks to the water which we're using to yeah. to produce Zwierzyniec beer. Yeah. Because How do you we say have Zwierzyniec. Come over here and say it. Say that. Right to the camera. Zwierzyniec. Oh boy, she said that very well, didn't she? Okay, stay with us. <laughs> Poland Daily Travel. 
We're underground going through the, uh, the brewery here in Lublin. Okay, stay with us. Yeah.